Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Angela from Earrings by Angela, and thank you for tuning in for our gratitude series. I'm gonna say something else. <laughs> Caught myself because I'm not gonna edit this. <laughs> I'm messing, I'm messing. But happy thankful Thursday, you guys. Um, so let's jump right in. So in my gratitude journal, I wrote that I am grateful for out of the box thinking. You see, I had to clap imagine emojis. Out of the box thinking. You know when you clap it, you mean it right. <laughs> That's that attitude, y'all. <laughs> But listen, this is why I say this, because, you know, in society, we're put into so many little boxes. You should do this. You should do that. You got to do this. You got to do that. It sounds like a song. Maybe they're wrong. But sometimes you got to step outside the box. So I'll tell you what I mean. What did, what did they say that we need to retire at, yeah. Six, is it 62, 63, 65? I don't know. Somewhere in our 60s, whatever. You got to work a job, you know, that long to the end of your life. I, I shouldn't say the end of your life, but later in life when uh, they're pretty much done with you, they're saying, okay, we're done with you now. You can go ahead and retire. Um, we're going to bring someone younger and newer in. But here's the out of the box thinking. What if you retired early? Or what if you created a job for yourself that you never have to retire from? Hmm. That's pretty freaking out of the box. I remember, I gotta go on another note for a minute. I remember in high school, I graduated in 94. Stop doing the math. <laughs> But I remember in high school, there was this girl, her name was Tiffany. I don't remember her last name, but I wouldn't tell you anyway. Her name was Tiffany. And I think we were sophomores back then. And um, I remember we were by the lockers, you know, walking down the hallway by the lockers. And she said, um, well, you guys, this is my last day. And I was like, what? Why? Are you going to a different school? And she was like, no, my mom's pulling me out so she can homeschool me. And I was like, homeschool? What's that? Who does that? And I'm like, this is not, what? I didn't understand it back then. And some, I wasn't the only one. Because in my mind, you go to school until you graduate. And then you go off to college, right? That's That's the expectation. And so... When she said she was being homeschooled, I was like, well, is that legal? How do they do that? Is she going to learn everything that we're learning? Okay, so fast forward. And when my son was, let me think. He Well, let's just put it like this. When my son graduated from eighth grade, that was it. We did homeschooling. That was, that was his option. Was you know, to do homeschooling so that he have a better environment and can learn because I was not impressed. Now, can I say that we didn't, um, we didn't get the support that I was looking for, you know, like his dad was worried about the socialization and, you know, oh, well, no, I live over here so he can come, you know, go out to school out here. I said, that's not the issue. We just want to homeschool. He wants to try it. And he did. He We tried it a little bit. And, you know, you have to register with the state and all that. Um, we did it for a little bit. Then he decided, because I let him help make the decisions, too, you guys. Because this is his life, his education. I guide him. But I do ask for his input, you know, because it's his life as well. And he said, I want to try going to high school. I want to see what that experience was. Well, honey, he lasted a year and he was like, not even a full year. He's like, oh, okay, I'm ready to go back to homeschool. It was rough because by the time we were homeschooling, he was ahead of the people he left. Anyway, so that's part of the out-of-the-box thinking. So why did I write that in my journal? Because I know you're like, Angela, we're, we're going to be late for work trying to... <laughs> 
<laughs> trying to trying to stick with you. I'm sorry. I'm a talker. But um, so that led me to being like, well, you know what? Let's think outside the box here. Back to the retirement thing. I was like, 35, I remember calling off work. <laughs> yeah, I did that. <laughs> Called off work and I said, gosh darn it. Where am I going? What am I doing? Is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? Like, do I want to be in the classroom or do I want to explore something else? Like, what do I want to do? What do I want to do after Nate grows up and I become an empty nester? Because, you know, <laughs> we're 20 years apart. Do the math. Um, so I wrote, I write a lot, you guys, I guess. <laughs> I write my thoughts a lot. But I wrote in a notebook what I wanted to do around 40 around 40 and I said I want to travel I want to just be free but I could not see at 35 I was like I don't know but I know that's what I want to do but I and I, I said you know maybe I'll start dating because I didn't want to do the whole step parent thing so that's why you know I didn't I put my my son ahead of me but um I was like I could start dating like seriously not just seasonally that's another topic <laughs> ah, y'all so crazy but I was like okay so I started writing down these goals what I want to do when I'm 40. So fast forward to 40. And I had a dream, y'all. It was about a fish. And I remember I was walking down the street or something. And this fish tank bowl just showed up. And the fish kept jumping out. So then I was putting the fish back in in the bowl and it was swing. I mean we downtown on the street I don't know why this is a weird dream but see how I remember it and I was like what so the fish jumped out again and then I would put the fish back in and swim a little bit swim a little bit kept jumping out and I was like what the freaking frack is going on in my dream right and so I wrote my dream down and I prayed on it and I was like what is that so then later on, I had another dream about something else I'm not going to get into. Um, because I actually tell this story in a book that I'm part of. So you got to go get the book. It's called Fearless Females. It's on Amazon. Um, Rebecca Lockwood is a con collaborator. But anyway, I'll tell that story too later. Let me stick with this one. So I had that dream. And I said, well, after I prayed about it, I said, what and so i'm digging through this old box in the basement and i found the notebook where i wrote that stuff when i was 35. and it said you're supposed to be traveling you're 40 you're supposed to be retiring 40. why would i think that at 35 because i couldn't see where i was going but i just felt you know what i'm saying like this is not what i'm supposed to do for the rest of my life so I found the notebook and I read it and I was like, shut the front door. So remember I prayed about that dream, whatever. And uh, so I interpreted the dream as saying, I'm the fish swimming around, nowhere to go, don't know what to do. I got to get out of this box. So I would jump out. I'm the fish now, right? Stay with me. I would jump out and a hand, me being, I mean, not me being the hand, but now the hand that I was in the dream is God saying, no, 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 no. I'm going to take care of you. Put you back in. I'm going to lead you though. So I was like, was that what that means? So then confirmation. I don't remember her name, but I saw something on social media. I forgot what her name was, but she said something that kind of went with the dream about taking that leap of faith. And then when you do it, make it non-negotiable. So I said, dang, okay. So 
I gotta do it. Like, this department that I'm in, because now I'm, I didn't trade it, you know. It's like, I'm not feeling this. I can't do this. It's, it's weighing on my spirit. It's, I just, I'm just not going to be able to do this. Um, for the rest of my life, I want my freedom. And so, I said, either I'm going to end in June, because, you know, teachers get out. I think it was June 12th or something. Or I'm going to finish in December. And I thought about it. I said, if I finish in December, then I'll be 41. I won't be 40 because my birthday's in August. Leo. Um, so I made a non-negotiable date. Now, when I made that decision, it was in February of 2017. And I had saved some money. And actually, I got a promotion. But you'll hear all about that part in the book, and I'll put the link in that thing. Um, so I love the stories in there. But anyway, um, I was like, no. And so when I made that decision, a couple people were like, yeah, but I was really concerned about what my parents would say. And surprisingly, surprisingly enough, they backed me after I told them, like, hey. And I know we don't supposed to care pretty much, but it's a family thing. I mean, our, our family actually has family meetings <laughs> about everything. So I did it. I took that leap. And when I tell people I retired at 40, they're like, what? But listen, I retired from traditionalism. That doesn't mean that I'm never going to work again. Um, I just, you know, I love my business and I love people and I love to serve. So I don't know, you know, where this, well, no, I got like two things going on right now. I can't tell you about it though until later. It's been a blessing. It's been an adventure. But um, so that's what happened. That is why. I wrote that I am so grateful for being an out of the box thinker, right? Um, that was, yeah, that's what I said. I had to look at. I was like, "What is that?" What I said? Because I try to get it verbatim, y'all. But you know, <laughs> so that is the inspiration for that one, and I hope that it inspired you. What? Hey, you guys, tell me something that you've always wanted to do, that's kind of against the norm, and if you're sharing. Um, if not, if you're sharing, if you have a gratitude journal and you want to share what you're grateful for today, I would love to see that in the comments. And of course I'll answer you back because I love to talk. <laughs> so if you learned something from this video or it inspired you, give it a thumbs up. And if you're on the fence about, you know, whatever or your friends are, share the video for a little inspiration. And make sure that you subscribe to our channel because I would love, 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 love to have you as part of our Earrings by Angela family. On that note, I will end. Peace and blessings to you all. Mwah.